Hello YouTube friends, it's me again, Matteo. Welcome back in my little RC garage. Thanks again for watching. Today I'll continue building the Tamiya Wild One Blockhead Motors Edition. The front suspension and roll cage are already installed. The next step is to build the transmission. Step 17 is the preparation of the differential gear and the first half of the gearbox. Here I'm upgrading my build with these ball bearings instead of the plastic bushings included in the kit. First I screw this cover onto the gearbox housing. It closes a hole that can be used to lubricate the gears. Then I insert the ball bearing into the gearbox housing. Next I prepare the diff gear. After applying grease I install the small diff bevel gears. Now I can insert the long gear joint and secure it temporarily with tape. Next I can install the diff bevel gear. Here also a bit grease and then the diff gear. And finally this shaft. Step 18 is the completion of the gearbox. First I add the second bevel gear. Then I put the small bearings into the spur gear. And I install it on the shaft. Again, a bearing on the second part of the gearbox housing. And then insert the short gear joint. Add a washer and a small bearing. After a little more lubrication I can close the gearbox. And screw it together. Here I need to install this gearbox holder. And now the gearbox is ready and working. Step 19 is the installation of the gearbox on the chassis. Step 20 is screwing in two screws from the other side. And this is the holder for the driver figure in front. So the gearbox is installed. Step 21 is the preparation of the rear axles. The first step is to cut the joint rubbers. This can be easily done with a sharp hobby knife. I put a little grease on the drive shaft to make it easier to insert it into the rubber boot. Next a bearing into the suspension arm and a wheel axle and a rubber o-ring. And now I can attach the drive shaft to the rear suspension arm. Step 22 is the installation of the rear suspension and axles. And this rear roll cage cross member. And the rear suspension is also installed. Step 23 is the installation of the pin and gear on the motor. As you can see I'm going to install a better motor. It's the Vortex brushless system from Team Orion. I have the 17 turn version here. It has 3280 kb. 
it should reach about 25,000 RPM with a 2S LiPo. I think this silver motor fits well in the Blockhead Wild One. Now I can install the pinion and adjust it to the correct position specified in the manual. Step 24 is the installation of the motor. Two pinion gears are included. The bigger high gear pinion for more high speed and a smaller low gear pinion for better acceleration. I have installed the high gear pinion, so you have to use the mounting holes marked H. Finally I can install the pin and gear cover. An installation of the motor is finished. Step 25 is the build of the rear dampers. First the damper piston. The manual says that part W3 should be used here. But there are more parts included. The difference between these parts is the diameter of these small holes. Part W3 has the smallest holes and the other two have slightly larger holes. I use the part W5 to get slightly larger holes and thus softer dampers. Then I insert a piston into the cylinder and add a bit of oil on the shaft. Next a silicon o-ring and a shaft and rod guide. Then I can close the lower cylinder cap. Again, protect the piston rod with a towel when installing the rod end. And adjust it to the correct length. Step 26 is to fill the dampers with oil. For the front shocks we use this red oil with a soft viscosity. But for the rear shocks this yellow oil is recommended. Yellow has a medium viscosity. First I fill oil, then I move the piston slowly to remove air bubbles, then I fill it completely, move the piston up to this position and close the upper cylinder cover. And it works smooth and fine. Step 27 is the completion of the rear dampers. Add the spring. And a ball connector. Step 28 is the installation of the dampers. And the rear suspension is also finished. So the next step is to install the electronics. You can see this in one of my next videos. So stay tuned so you don't miss it. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Thanks for watching. See you next time.